Hey there, welcome back to AI Code King. Ever since AI has hit the market, it has been more or less not that worth it other than the hype. However, there are still multiple places where AI excels, such as in coding. Coding has been one of the areas where AI has actually been adopted or is being adopted at a growing rate. And the major stakeholder in this adoption has been the one and only GitHub Copilot. Some months ago, in an interview, Microsoft said that they have onboarded more than 1 million paying GitHub Copilot users. They also claimed that almost 50% of the code on GitHub is now AI generated, which is literally very sad to see. But even though it has been a godsend for many, there have been some challenges in the adoption of GitHub Copilot. One is the cost of Copilot. Who would want to pay $10 for a service that will actually get you addicted, and then you have to keep paying for it? Well, that's one. But another issue has been the increasing bugging of the auto-completion. If you turn on GitHub Copilot once, you don't get the option to turn it off for some time or just call it when you need it. It will just keep constantly bugging you at every line of code. With Copilot, your peace of mind is literally taken away. That's why if you search, I hate auto-completion in coding on Google, you'll see a bunch of similar takes. The major issue that most people quote is getting their flow broken. Most people who use Copilot actually get dependent on it for even the smallest length of code, which is pretty scary. And that's actually what most enterprises want. They give you a GitHub Copilot trial, not because they are good guys. They give it to you because once you start using it, it's going to get you hooked. And you'll think, hey, it's only $1.10, let's pay and enjoy. And that may be a good idea in the short term, but in the long term, it's going to affect you. But if this whole thing were a little different, if instead of auto-completion, it were an AI pair programmer of sorts, which you could only call when absolutely needed, and when you call it, you can ask it questions or get the code changed for you and then say goodbye to it. It would have been much better. You would know what exact code has been changed, how it works, and even if these things don't matter to you, you'll still have immense control over the AI. In this case, You'll only invoke the AI when you need to. It won't bug you all the time, and you can use your brain. Well, that's what I'm going to show you today with Ader. Ader is a little different approach to the whole co-pilot thing. Ader is a command line tool that lets you pair program with LLMs to edit code stored in your local Git repository. Ader will directly edit the code in your local source files and git commit the changes with sensible commit messages. So basically, you can give Ader any file from your GitHub repo, and Ader can understand that file in the context of your whole repository and make the changes you ask it to. Once it has made the changes, it can also add a commit to your repo with sensible commit messages. It all just works through the terminal. You can either start a new project or work with an existing Git repo. Ader works with OpenAI, Claude, Gemini, Grok, Olama, and a bunch of others. I'll be telling you how to use it with Olama and the CodeQuen model. I'll also be telling you how to use it with Grok as well for those who don't have GPUs. Anyway, let's get it installed. First, go to Olama, click on the download button, and get it installed. Now, go to the models page and search for the CodeQuen model. Now, copy this command, paste it into your terminal, and your model should be installed. Once that's done, you'll see the chat interface here. Go ahead and send a message and check if it's working. Once it's working, run this pip install ADER chat command. This will get ADER installed on your computer. Now, run this export command. This will set your Olama host for Ader to refer to. Once done, all you need to do is run Ader with a model operator. 
Then in the value, we'll write a llama, then a slash, and then we'll write our model name. It's pretty self-explanatory. Okay, now you can run it. It will automatically refer to your Git repository, and whatever you prompt it, it can get it done within your repo. Let's ask it to create a Python program to add two numbers based on user input. Okay, so if I prompt it over here, you can see the code is generated. It asks us if we want to save it or not. If I send a yes over here, it will recheck the code for linting errors and other errors. Okay, it finds an error where the variable is in uppercase. So if I send a yes over here, it will get it fixed. Okay, it's fixed now, and it's now saved. It's pretty cool. There are some methods you can use as well. For example, in this add method, you can add a file to the chat. Then, in the commit option, you can generate commit messages and commit the changes. Then, you have the drop option, where you can remove a file from the chat. Then there are other methods like git, lint, model, clear, and diff. There are multiple great methods. I won't be going in-depth on each method, since there should be some fun left for you guys. Let's also ask it to add a divide function to the same file it just made. Okay, as you can see, it's also done. So this also demonstrates how it can edit pre-existing code. Let's exit Ader and check if the file it created works or not. Okay, if I run it over here and give it the inputs, you can see it works. Pretty cool. But, as I promised, let me also show you how you can use it with Grok. To use Grok, first, go to Grok's site and get yourself signed up. Once you are signed up, go to the API Keys option and create a new API key. Once created, copy it. Now, write this command, and after the equal symbol, add your API key and hit Enter. Once done, run Ader with Grok and slash Llama 3. Now go ahead and use it all you want. It's pretty cool, isn't it? There are also other free options that you can use. They have listed some options on their site. It's pretty cool of them to add it on their site. Anyway, so that's how you can get an AI pair programmer that doesn't get you addicted. You can really become a pro programmer with this. But if you want to be an ultra pro programmer like these guys, then you can donate whatever you please to my channel. To do that, click on the Super Thanks button below this video and select whatever amount you wish to donate and be featured on this Ultra Pro Programmers list. But if you don't want to be on this list and still be an Ultra Pro Programmer, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.